All right. Um, Nebraska State Senator Bill Avery was quoted in the Omaha World Herald yeah. as saying, the history of this movement is rife with racism in the name of states' rights. I'm not saying that the people making the case now are racist, but I don't think Nebraska needs to be getting in bed with these kinds of resolutions. Is Senator Avery's accusation mostly an isolated case of the historical association of racism charge, or is this a common sense argument used by opponents? What's, what's your response to this statement? Well, I can say that it has not been raised by other people. Um, so far, my colleague, Senator Avery, who is a friend and uh, for whom I have great respect, uh, he's the only person that's brought that up. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll say this. It's, uh, this is a legitimate point of discussion. Uh, it's, it's unfortunate that, um, that we would interject uh, race into this, uh, this issue. Um, my background, uh, people, people may not be able to tell or, or realize, uh, my background uh, is my mom is from the Philippines. Okay, she's born and raised there. Uh, she came here, and uh, I came along, and uh, I'm Asian American. So I've never thought of myself as this way before, but um, in this day and age, I'm told that I'm a minority. And I am, by definition. My mom was born in another place. Asians comprise a minority in this country. It just, it's the furthest thing from my mind to interject race into this particularly because of my background. Uh, what's more, that's not who I am. That's not the way I operate. Uh, so for me personally, when I, when I hear that, uh, that accusation, and it, it, it exists outside of Nebraska. It's not been so much a part of the debate here in Nebraska, uh, but I've seen this as part of the debate in other uh, states that brought these resolutions forward. It's really unfortunate because this is a legitimate, logical, meaningful policy issue that we ought to be talking about. If the Tenth Amendment means something, um, then let's try to put some flesh on that meaning. Now, politically, I can't understand how uh, one would uh, dredge up these arguments of segregation and whatnot, because at one time, that principle, the states' rights principle, was given as a means of defeating you know, what, what Abraham Lincoln had, had brought forward um, to abolish slavery. And I'm talking in general principles here, but that, that principle is one that was utilized uh, in the South um, to defeat uh, this broader principle that would have uh, under, you know, undertaken to get rid of slavery. So, I mean, I can understand how that argument was utilized in the past, uh, but we're talking about principles today which uh, it, I, I don't see how it can be construed that we're trying to interject race into I'm not putting forward a resolution that says that one class of people is inferior to another. I'd be the last person to do that for those who know me, and just politically, my yeah, my mom's from the Philippines. I was I was one I was the only Filipino in in my hometown growing up. I know what it's like to be different. I know what it's like to be a minority. Uh, it's just the farthest thing from my mind. So yeah, it's not about that. And if indeed, it, if indeed the discussion were to degrade into uh, some type of uh, some type of racist, um, oh, some type of opportunity to exploit someone's race or to exploit racism, um, I'll have no part of it. So uh, yeah, it's disturbing and, and frustrating that when a legitimate point is being brought up, that race gets interjected into it. But it has been, and uh, hopefully people recognize that that's not what this is about. Well, and. Uh and since the Civil War, the Constitution has been amended to guarantee civil rights for everybody. Um, so by saying, hey, we support the Tenth Amendment, you know, we, we, we want a dialogue on our rights under the Tenth Amendment, is not saying to violate other parts of the Constitution, you know, that they all go together. The Constitution is a, is a document. And to utilize part of the Constitution to controvert or militate against another part of the, of the Constitution is not only illogical, um, it ought to very easily be shot down because of, his, of, of its illogicity. Uh, so yeah, I, I understand what you're saying and I agree. Hopefully we can focus our debate on a meaningful issue that I am positive is on a lot of people's minds. Absolutely. 
Um, what is the uh, likelihood of this resolution getting passed during uh, next year's session? Well, uh, it's hard to predict. Um, what happens here in the legislature, uh, next year is going to be what's called a short session. And uh, so basically we're going to have a lot less time in order to move forward with our, uh, with our ideas, with our agendas. Uh, you take me, multiply by 49, there are 49 other state senators. So it's hard telling uh, what's going to move out of the committee, what's going to move forward. I'm, I'm hopeful that since this is a resolution, it's not at the, at the same level of statutes or the bills that I bring forward or to change law. This is only a resolution so that it's resolved on the part of Nebraska. It is a, uh, an expression on the part of Nebraska. I'm hopeful that the fact it's a resolution, it will be able to find its way onto the broader agenda of our legislature. And like I said, the, the, the support out there in the public has been uh, substantial. I'm hopeful that we can at least have some small dialogue on a resolution. Uh, hopefully we can squeeze it in as part of our agenda. Um, I really don't know what its chances are of succeeding, but again, I'm constructing this such that it's, it's ready for debate and that it is reasonable for us to debate. That's what I'll try to do. Part of my responsibility is to do that, and I, I plan on doing that. Okay. Um, well, I guess my, my last question, uh, a little bit lighter. You mentioned being on national TV. Um, I believe that was the Sean Andy show on, yes. on Fox News channel. Right. Um, I guess let us know what, what that experience was like. Uh, it was daunting, it was intimidating. Uh, about an hour and a half, two hours before I was to travel up to, to get on the, to be filmed for this, um, I was uh, I was at the weight room at the YMCA there, at the Cooper YMCA in South Lincoln, and I was talking to a friend of mine, and um, he could tell that there was something wrong with me, and I'm trying to exercise and put it out of my mind, and, and um, but clearly I wasn't. I was very nervous. It's nerve-wracking to be in front of millions of people, um, but uh, at the same time, it's a great honor. It's probably never going to happen again. It's my you know, 15 minutes of fame, I suppose. Um, but at, at the end of the day, it's a principle. There's a principle that's operative here that I think people identify with all across this country. It's part of what made our country great. It's the way that we are structured. We put forward a document. Our founders put forward a document documents, which, uh, which enumerate the rights of the people. You know, there are many documents that have existed in history have numbered the rights of the kings or numbered the rights of the government. Very few documents have guaranteed and numbered the rights of the people. We have that in our country. It's one of the, it, it's the greatest country ever known to man. And uh, so why is it that a resolution that gets brought forward in little old Nebraska to talk about the Tenth Amendment and how it applies to people's lives, how does that make it on national TV? Because it is forever ancient and forever new. It's something that is as old as our country, but it is something as new as the people who are coming forward and recognizing it exists. And so for that reason, it's newsworthy. So now, it may not have been newsworthy in the way that I wanted. They, probably, they saw this more as an opportunity to talk about um, you know, how, how Nebraska doesn't like what's going on in the Obama administration. That's what, uh, that's what was going on, I think, with, uh, uh, with Hannity's producers anyway. That's the angle that they took on it. Uh, but at the end of the day, there was a principle that was operative. And so for me, it was a great honor to be able to talk about this principle on behalf of my constituents and really on behalf of the people of the state of Nebraska.